Hey, well, well, Big Bob, and uh, just over right here, the hills above Monrovia, the fire, you can just watch it. It's just coming down the mountain there. Crazy, crazy squares. All week long, our cars, our homes, have been just covered in ash. I mean, I never really seen anything quite like it. The cars are just covered with ashes from these fires. And, uh, but it doesn't compare to 9-11. 9-11, uh, tomorrow is the anniversary of 9-11. And I remember being in the tub. Uh, I was getting ready for work, you know, and then watching the Today Show as uh, I, I, had, you know, I had to, as I typically did in that day. And the uh, host, yeah, we, we have to break away here. There's a plane that has gone into the Trade Center. And as he was talking, and I was like, hmm, that's wild. Another plane, and then you know, we know the story. Um, really, really something. Well, I just saw three or four uh, of those creosoted poles with flags between them, big giant American flags we will never forget. What's, what a juxtaposition right now with Antifa and the, and the group that hates families, wants to destroy our country. Uh, not, 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 uh, I'm gonna just say it. It's, they're not for black lives. They don't seem to care if babies are killed, children are killed, cops are killed, black businesses are ruined. They don't care. But Black Lives Matter, the organization, the one that has the, the um, goal, stated goal of, of destruction. And the people who claim to be Black Lives Matter people, not the sports figures uh, necessarily, uh, sports figures, uh, corporate people, uh, they're all about, yes, yes, we care about black lives. We care, we care. You know, and, they, and they've got their, their support. But the actual group, the manifesto of Black Lives Matter is nothing to do with really caring about black lives. It, it's only uh, concerned with destroying. I've been watching video that you can clearly see online of, of just nice people just, just having dinner, what I might do with my wife, and people coming up and scattering the tables, throwing chairs, spitting in people's faces, drinking their drinks, just you know, no justice, no peace. I don't know of any case where there isn't some justice happening. People are people are, are, are looking into it. They're you know the officers with George Floyd. They are uh, they're being investigated, and all the shootings, all the uh, the different elements uh, that go through. The, it's all being investigated. So it's not like oh ha ha ha. We go out, we shoot many black men. No harm, no problem. That's not true simply not true it's a lie there's nobody there's no police officers going out like Schindler's List with that guy with a rifle just there's a black guy king 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 that's not happening and I saw an African-American man today on a, on a segment and he said look hey officer he was he was complimenting the officer it was an old southern white big fat big officer guy and the black guy was going look I got no problem I was speeding the guy stopped me I got it uh, I have a I have a concealed carry permit. Uh, I'm not using that concealed ca carry. I don't have the gun with me. Uh, I didn't do anything to have this guy go crazy. I didn't go crazy. Thank you, officer, for stopping me. Thank you for doing a good job. Uh, you know. And he said, "Look." And this is the black guy talking, saying, "Look, just do the right thing." You know. Now I I can't. I got to tell you, I, I I'm not very trusting of police officers either. I, I kind of have this feeling about police officers that I'm like, I'm, I'm a little freaked out because I've heard stories that they could just, you know, they pretty much just, <laughs> you know, they're just gonna do what they're gonna do, you know. But the thing is, is that uh, the, uh, I, if I can avoid being surveilled, if I can avoid just having them just follow me around looking for some kind of problem, well, I, I think it better to pull to the right, let them go on through, let them, you know, that, that's just use wisdom. Don't don't throw yourself in front of a, you know, there was a, a guy I, I took care of his property and uh, he had a thing with the tax department and uh, 
he said, oh, come on down, take a look at the property. Uh, but his neighbors all say, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. Slow down, pump the brakes, pump the brakes. Pump the brakes there, Mr. H. You know, no, we're, we don't need you doing that. What kind of jacky jack these people, they don't, they're not paying attention. This guy wants to make a, a turn into the thing and this guy just blows right on through, like he doesn't care. I mean, I stopped back plenty far enough. There's nobody gonna get ahead of you. I mean, it's just crazy. So, what happened was, is he hired me to keep the tax assessor off the property. That he only wanted the people, he had a big property, a lot of people coming and going. He, he, he said nobody could be on there without the permit. So, uh, the, the tax assessor just did their job from a distance. They, they drove around the property, which was several miles, and they got it done that way. And they did not have to go on the property, and there, therefore they did not have access to more information than they really needed. And that's good. That's a good thing. Uh, so if you can avoid, you know, just like if the police stop you, uh, you know, don't just start, you know, you know, speaking in tongues and going crazy. No, just keep your mouth shut. Keep your mouth shut. Be still. Be quiet. You know, name, maybe your address, phone number. All right. You know, that's it. After that, no. If they detain you, they detain you. You, you move forward. You do not allow people to... Uh, you don't allow people to, to just get every... Because if they if you let, if you just start talking, they're going to just take all that. They can twist it. They can talk about the Beatles, twist and shout. They can twist your words, and, and then they can shout. We got it. We got it. We got... You know, they can ask you tricky questions, and so... All right. Well... Give me a call, would you? 213 713 8954. 8954 green att.net on the Twitter, Mr. Rubber Bomb Bomb 8954. And let's be smart for uh, the 9 11 holiday, the holiday, the, the, the remembrance. Let's, let's be respectful. Let's be kind. Let's be respectful. Let's protect our country in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Bye bye.